Hey there Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. It's time to have a look and see what is going on when it comes to your weekly astrology for February 4th through the 11th, 2024. On Monday the 5th, you've got Mercury and Pluto together in Aquarius in a conjunction, which is all about discoveries and important intel. This is in your 12th house of the past, private matters, the hidden zone, things that you've got going on behind the scenes and out of the public eye, as well as old business as it affects the present. And when these two come together, there is likely going to be a very important discovery or bit of intelligence or even hookup coming to you that is going to help uh, make something happen that has been struggling to occur that you've been maybe uh, working on for a long time here. Or this could even be the solution to some kind of chronic or long-term challenge, mystery, puzzle, or problem that has followed you into the present. On the 7th, we've got, well, and the 8th, Wednesday and Thursday, we've got Mars in Capricorn forming a sextile to your ruling planet Neptune in Pisces. So this is your 11th house of friendships, community, your support system, and your loftiest goals and dreams and ambitions, and you coming together here, making something concrete, right? This is Neptune in your sign. So when we have Mars and Neptune come together like this, something that you've been maybe trying to work on with a friend, whether it's an important plan, uh, a, an important road you're setting off on, or a certain path you're trying to commit to, that has been very uh, ambiguous or very vague or very cloudy, or um, just something about it seems uh, intangible or, or not necessarily coming together, is finally getting a chance to come together, right? Mars sextile Neptune is all about about making something that seemed uh, out of our grasp not only reachable but it actually puts it in a space where not only is it reachable but it's tangible and it's already in hand making things that have been ambiguous cloudy or nebulous concrete here could be very special for a certain plan or project pursuit or joint effort that you are involved in and maybe even allow something to finally get off the ground and finally, on Friday, the 9th, we've got a new moon in Aquarius in your 12th house of that past privacy, hidden zone, private matters, things uh, you know that could be shortcuts, hidden opportunities, or things from the past. And whenever we have a new moon in the 12th house, there is an opportunity for something to come back to life or to be resurrected, as it were, in the two weeks following. Now, this could be an old goal or an old ambition or an old dream getting realized. But if it's not something like that, this could also be something that you have been uh, working on, maybe, you know, again, away from the public eye or something that you've been carrying on uh, privately, getting a chance to finally come out into the light of day or something that is getting a new lease on life that you have been, you know, maybe forced to kind of steal time for or, or you know, you just haven't been able to give your all to. Either way, over the course of the two weeks following the ninth, it's going to have its day. So that is what I've got for you all. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And should you ever wish to get a session with me, you can go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com.